I wasn't sure going into the Netflix limited series From Scratch if it was going to be some soapy drama or a romantic comedy. Now, it's a mix of both, but does it work? Amy's an American student studying abroad in Italy, and she meets and falls in love with Lino, a Sicilian chef. Their quick romance faces unforeseen challenges, including their very different cultural backgrounds. True to life, it's also infused with lightheartedness and moments of humor that exist alongside the more serious ones. All right, so this is an emotional limited series. I mean, just as a warning, you may get an ugly cry on before the show is actually over. There are eight episodes that are each around an hour-ish long. Now, the pace is patient and it's slower, so there were times where I felt the length of the episodes. Now, the first episode intrigued me, but by the middle of the second episode, I was fully engaged and I was incredibly drawn to the performances and the story. This is a love story with a lot of ups and downs. Now, I want to say that there are more ups, but I think it's fairly balanced in the happy and sad moments. Now, one thing I was wishing for in this series was that the writing would break the formula that it was following, where just every time something joyous would happen, it would then be immediately followed up by something melancholy. Some of this alternating is fine, and it creates captivating drama, but it also got to be very predictable, and I even found myself dreading anything happy because I knew it would then be countered with something sad. And typically, it was doubling down on that sadness. But even with that, the story itself is fascinating to watch. There are small time jumps through most of the episodes, but it doesn't feel like we're missing anything. The story catches us up, and then we get to witness all of the important moments, so it does work out. This is a surprisingly layered series. First, there's the romance between Amy and Lino. Now, it's passionate, troubled at times, but it's also relatable. And they've got good chemistry together and balance each other in the emotional department. We spend so much time with them throughout the series that we can predict some of their mannerisms and their reactions, which then helps to increase the drama and the connections with those characters. But then outside of the romance angle, there is a very deep family drama where we get insight into both Amy and Lino's family structures. It shows the good, bad, dysfunctional, loving, even weird. I mean, everything that any family has is showcased in this that's relatable. There's some genuinely funny moments too, especially with Amy's family. And then there are some very raw moments that we see with Lino's family. But it's not like one or the other has a monopoly on the set of emotions or responses. I mean, they each get to showcase a variety of interactions that work to make the world that we're watching feel all more real. Part of this series takes place in Italy, and the set design that they have looks quaint and inviting. They've got cramped town streets and neighbors on their patios, maybe on balconies looking down, and then providing unsolicited commentary. Now, sometimes it's funny, other times maddening, but regardless, these responses fit with the scenes, transporting us to the world of our characters in a really gorgeous way. Now, I was surprised by the quality of the cinematography. I mean, as I had mentioned, I thought this was going to be some kind of soapy drama, so I expected it to look like one. But it's wonderfully filmed, making this look like a really long movie that's just broken up into segments. There are some excellent intimate shots with our characters, and these allow us to really experience the emotion that they're displaying. And it's hard to watch sometimes, but the camera does a wonderful job at placing us inside their personal space without feeling like we don't belong. Zoe Saldana and Eugenio Mastre Andrea are Amy and Lino, and they just kill it. I mean, the way they banter back and forth, it drew me in. Now, I think at times they're an idealized version of real people, but they're still flawed, so we are able to connect with them, and maybe even see bits of ourselves within them. There's so much passion and raw emotion that's delivered throughout the story. Each challenge provides opportunities for character growth, but then also compelling interactions. So it's rare that we see a situation that only involves Amy and Lino. I mean, yeah, there are scenarios that are involving just that couple, but more often than not, the challenges they face bring about a family component, whether they're the cause or maybe the part of the solution. And that's where the true strength of this story lies. I mean, it's a love story, but not just one between a couple. It's also the love of families. And that's a powerful dynamic that just completely captivated me. And even when we know what events are going to be on the horizon, I still wanted to watch and experience it, to just be taken through the emotions with those characters in a palpable way, and then knowing that I was going to get choked up and possibly devastated. This is a heavy one to binge all the way through, but I think once you start, and if you get engaged with it, it will be very hard to want to turn it off until you've reached the conclusion. Now, while the end may not be exactly what I wanted, it is a beautiful story and had a very fitting and earned resolution. So overall, From Scratch is an emotionally charged drama that captures the intensity of relationships in a tangible fashion. Romance and family dynamics intermingle, and when combined with captivating characters, they create a touching story with a lasting impression. There's sex, maybe brief nudity, a ton of profanity, and barely any violence. I give From Scratch four and a half out of five couches. So what's a family drama that you watch repeatedly? Let me know in the comments below. 
If you enjoyed this review, please give it a like. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe. I'm Chris. This is Movies and Munchies. Thanks for couching with me.